<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Honestly, I've been so busy lately. So sorry that you're not really getting like too exciting of what's happening. This is my second Celsius of the day. Tell me why from the hours of like one to four, I just get exhausted randomly. I woke up this morning, went to Pilates, came back home, ate some food, showered, did my makeup, fell asleep, had to take a nap, exhausted. No reason, like I don't know. I don't, I need to not be so distraught. Nothing's wrong. I don't know why I'm being like weird, but I need some energy because I'm so tired for no reason. I'm gonna eat a salad. Yesterday, it looks kind of gross. It looks gross, but it tastes good, I think. Let me see. It's from yesterday, it's leftovers. It's good. I'm out of this Rare Beauty makeup stick. It is my favorite, what did I call it? My bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer and I'm out of it. I've been using it forever and back on track. My salad, I was talking about my salad. Last night, Dylan and I had date night and we went to this Italian restaurant that someone recommended to us, but ow, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. We went to an Italian restaurant that someone recommended to us and we weren't super impressed to be honest. Well, Dylan wasn't impressed. I just ordered a salad, like a chopped salad, and I thought it was quite good. I liked it, but Dylan said that his spaghetti was not too good, so. I've talked about this hair curler before. This is the Paul Mitchell, like a narrow one inch something rather. It's my favorite hair curler. I've been using it for years. My roommate in college had it and I would borrow it and then I was like, wait, I should just get my own. And now it's just the best. It's my trusty hair curler. This necklace, I've been wearing it a lot. It's like my main necklace right now. I designed it and it will be coming out very soon. And I'm pretty excited about it. But I have to take photos for it, and usually I would like ask Dylan, <laughs> but he's at work, and I want daytime photos, and by the time he gets home, it's like already nighttime, plus he's tired after work, so I'm having my mom take them. Ow! Mm -hmm. I just burned my head. What is going on with me? I burned my finger and my head? Okay, my head and my finger are like throbbing. Oh, I booked a wedding planner, or I found a wedding planner, wedding coordinator, I'm pretty excited about that. That's like a big, that's like the biggest thing that's like time sensitive, I feel like. And now that we have her, she's gonna help us find a florist, which is like the next big thing. And then after that, I have basically planned the entire wedding, so. I know what you're thinking. Why do you need a wedding planner if you plan the whole wedding? But <laughs> just realized that this morning Dylan asked to borrow my hairspray and I didn't think that he meant he was like gonna take my hairspray, but now that I'm looking, he took my hairspray. So yeah, I'm getting ready for these photos. I really don't wanna take photos right now, but I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm excited, I don't know. I'm not like in the mood to take photos, but I know that once I have the photos. I'll be like, oh, come cool. on. This morning in Pilates, we were doing tricep dips. <laughs> and all of a sudden, this lady started screaming. Like, whoo, 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 whoo. But like, she was hurt. I thought she was laughing, but apparently she was like injured. And she left the class. She said that her chest popped, but no one like really knows what was going on. I hope she's okay. But it added some excitement to the class. But I hope she's okay. We are en route to mi madre's house. I have my little man right here, my little co-pilot. Oh, oh, are you okay? I really need to get Rocky one of those car seats, like dog car seats. I think it would really help us both out because it's honestly really hard to drive. Not really hard to drive, but it's a little hard to drive. If this person honks at me right now, I hate when people honk at me. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass for Drake. Now shake that ass for me. We made it. Okay, guys. I'm dressed. I'm ready. So put this concrete in the center. So that's the shot. Bye, 
Rocky, you're photobombing me. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, we're back home. Rocky, come here. We have made it back home, and now we're gonna cook some dinner. Did you have a play day with Louie, your brother, and it was very fun? He has to think about it. He doesn't know if it was fun or not. Did you have fun? I love you, Rocky. Ooh, I just got a wave of nausea. Hmm. Do you guys ever get that where all of a sudden you feel like you're... What should I make for dinner? What should I make for dinner? This is what I do when I'm by myself. I have a sing. I sing a lot. I'm in a musical. Ow. I'm so hyper right now. I think it's for my Celsius. <laughs> all my Celsiuses. Oh my gosh, my feet. Feet hurt so bad. I'm gonna smell this chicken and I don't wanna hear a peep about it. Bad. The chicken's bad. I think it's safe to assume that both of these chicken bags are bad. Okay, it's leaking. It's leaking everywhere. The spoiled chicken juice is leaking all over the place. No wonder I'm so nauseous, so nauseated. Ew. Okay, just ignore that any of that just happened. Okay, here's what I'm gonna make. It's a little bit crazy. I've never really done this before, but I have this beef, but it's for stew, okay? But I don't really feel like making a whole stew situation, so I'm gonna make the beef, like I'm gonna cook it, and then I'm gonna put this garden vegetable soup with the beef, and then serve it over rice with green beans on the side. Does that sound good or does that sound like it's gonna be bad? Guess we'll just have to wait and find out. So I seasoned the beef with our seasonings. I love this little drawer. And this looks super gross, but it will look better when it's done. Ah. So I made the green beans in the microwave. This is what we're working with so far. This doesn't really look particularly that good, but I think it might be okay. Okay, do you mind? Good package. Do you want to eat here or at the table? Oh, look, they're growing. Is this trash? Is this trash? Um, yeah, it's trash. I'm good. Dylan said that it's good. It looks better. No, it tastes better than it looks, maybe. Okay. Can you play it, please? <laughs> You think you're slick, but I know what you are. Oh, you're funny. No! It's gonna get damage in your gene. <laughs> My single gene? Don't! Don't! Hey. <laughs> what? You... Are you gonna go shopping? <laughs> you gonna go do some shopping on my my, my app? Can my you, app card? Can you? Can you please listen to the song and then I'll yes. get it back? I have to throw away the recycled stuff or something. No, 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 no! I got money where you can't even find it. Like where? Dug up in a hole somewhere off the 61. Jump scare. Now I'm gonna do my skincare routine for nighttime. I just got out of the shower. Feeling so far so clean. I'm gonna start off with my under eye cream. This is by Kiehl's Line Reducing. It's like vitamin C, I think. I'm going to put on my Hyaluronic Acid by La Roche Posay. My aunt is a dermatologist and she said that this Hyaluronic Acid is really good. I'm actually getting a facial tomorrow, so I'm pretty excited about that. My skin was really, really good like a week ago, and then this week, it's just not as good as it was last week. I think my hormones are just being a little hormony. Okay, then I'm gonna use this. I think I've talked about this before. I feel like it's like Botox in a bottle. And then last but not least, I'm going to just put on my La Roche Posay moisturizer. This one is the Double Repair Matte one. Voila. Aquaphor, of course. Lotion. for night night well i think that might conclude my nighttime situation dylan's about to take a shower and then we're gonna watch a movie and then go to bed that's what we're up to good night good morning it's actually 1 30 in the afternoon i look like it's morning but it, i'm not 
It is hot. <laughs> I'm on my way to my facial. I'm meeting my mom there. So I forget if I've updated you, but we toured, I think six places total for our rehearsal dinner. So we went and toured three places and then a month or two later we toured another three places and we finally got all the quotes back for all the places basically dylan had a favorite and i had a favorite and his favorite was my least favorite and my favorite was his least favorite so that was not really ideal we made little to no progress however we just got all the quotes back and the place that i want is like half the price than the place that dylan wants so i think that we're gonna go with mine i haven't told dylan yet that his is twice the price but i think we're gonna mail out some of our save the dates i didn't really know who you're supposed to send save the dates to <laughs> yeah some people are getting them, some people aren't, and there's really no rhyme or reason. It's just kind of whoever's address I had, that's who's gonna be getting it, so I don't know. I cannot believe that the year is almost over. I can't believe October is almost over. I can't believe it's almost November, then December, and then a new year. This year, I think, has been my biggest year of growth i feel i mean honestly the past like two or three years i think i've grown i don't want to say exponentially but i mean you guys can't really like probably tell because you don't really what's on my face you don't know me like personally but i don't know i've been dealt some interesting cards the past few years and i think i've had to really mature and just kind of grow up in my decision making and something that was a big learning lesson i don't know why i'm all of a sudden talking about this but it's on my mind so i'm gonna talk about it this past year has really been a year where i have learned how to set boundaries for whatever reason i just feel like my whole life i never really knew how to set like healthy boundaries granted i didn't have anyone in my life who was like really horrible to me so i didn't let me start over i've really learned how to establish boundaries and i think that that is a really important tool that i don't think enough people like talk about or learn what was kylie jenner's thing year of realizing stuff i'm no longer allowing people access into my life if they don't a respect me b support me or c love me and no person is under any obligation to do any of those things to me for me etc however i'm also under no obligation to tolerate disrespectful behavior i don't care if you're my mom my dad my cousin my second uncle twice removed or my fiance's mother if you are gonna be cruel and mean to me and not respect me or my relationship then there's really not much more to be said i mean respect is like the minimal like bare minimum at bare minimum you can just be a cordial decent human being and if you cannot even do that if that is hard for you to just be like kind and normal then i really i don't need to tolerate it but anyway <laughs> let's bring it back to a positive note this year i have learned how to communicate my boundaries and how to establish healthy boundaries and especially as i continue to go into my adult life and as dylan and i enter our married life together i think it's so important to just be a unit and be a team and learn how to express communicate and establish these boundaries okay well there's the little rant that no one asked for but <laughs> it's been a hard year it's been a great year and i'm just so grateful and thankful and it's been a really wonderful, special time. But simultaneously, it's also been probably the hardest year of my life, honestly. But difficulties give room for growth and it's important to always grow and try to learn from whatever you're going through. So, all right, anyway, uh, gotta go, but I'll talk to you later. 8 a.m., Santa's coming to town. Santa, I know him. I reenact that scene from Elf about four times a day. That was me reenacting. It's literally not even 8 a.m. right now. It's a little before 8, 7.54 to be exact. 
and the sun, oh, the sun is just peeking over the mountain range. And I'm taking Rocky to get groomed. I've like tried to prep him like, Rocky, you're going to the groomers. Are you gonna be okay? I feel like he doesn't know where he's going. But once we like get there, then he knows and then he does not wanna be there. It was super nice, our friend Claire, Claire and Evan, they have a dog named Hank. And Hank had an appointment today, but they're out of town, so they asked if I wanted Rocky, like if I wanted the appointment. And Rocky has been needing to get groomed. He looks like a stray dog. So thank you, Claire and Evan, for providing this grooming appointment for my lovely dog. So I'm doing that, then I'm gonna go back home. I literally just woke up about 10 minutes ago, so that's why I look like I just woke up, because I really did. This is really true life. Oh, jeez. Anyway, I'm gonna go take Rocky. Then I'm gonna go back home. I keep, well, it's gonna take too long to explain. I'll explain later. Oh, I just pushed my windshield wipers instead of the parking. The amount of times where I've forgotten to put my car in park and then it rolls forward. <laughs> yeah, okay, anyway. Hello everyone, I think this is gonna be the end of my video, but I thought I would show you really quick what I'm making for dinner. I'm putting these little breads, don't look at that, that's where my spoon was, but bread with olive oil and just a little bit of salt. I'm gonna put it in the oven to get them crispy, and then I have my pasta sauce and my noodles that are about to overflow, and then some bruschetta type situation, just like tomato, basil, and balsamic vinegar. Sorry I look so rough, I've been cleaning. My noodles are really about to boil over. I've been cleaning pretty much all day, so that's what I've been up to. Love you.